What's up, hello YouTube? This is Shinya Kadono, professional soccer player here in California. Today's video, uh, I'll show you guys uh, these ball mastery drills that I've been doing since I was little. Uh, only thing you need is a ball. Uh, you don't really need much space. I have 10 different variations. So I'll show you guys. I'll put a voiceover and explain each exercise. So let's get it. All right, the first variation is pull back touch with your laces. As you can see here, I'm pulling the ball back with one foot and pushing it off with the same foot, switching off. Once you get in the rhythm, you should look like this. So as you can see in the slow-mo, as I'm pulling the ball backwards, my planting foot is also following that same direction by taking a step back. Uh, by doing this, you're making sure your body is in front of the ball and keeping the body centered. I also creating that rhythm, so it makes it much easier. So, all right, so this is the first variation. Okay, the second variation is bell bell, pull outwards, touch it back inside, and then repeat the same thing on the other side. Uh, once you get in the rhythm, you should look like this. All right, here's the slow-mo. And as I said earlier with the first one, as you can see, when I'm pulling the ball outwards, you see my planting foot is also following that same direction and making sure your body is centered so that you have the total control of the ball. Uh, so this is something that you have to focus on when you, while doing this. Uh, it makes it much easier. Uh, so yeah. All right, the third one looks similar to the second one, but not quite. Uh, here, what you do is take, when you do the second bell touch, kick it diagonally in front of you. So you pull it back with the opposite foot. Here, once you get in the rhythm, here's a slow-mo. As you can see, you're putting the ball diagonally in front of you, and you're pulling it backwards. So it's like kind of like a mix of the first and the second one. Uh, so once you get in the rhythm, it should look like this. All right, the fourth one is bell, bell, roll across your body, bell, bell, roll across your body, repeat this thing. Um, so once you get in the rhythm, you should look like this. And uh, here comes the slow-mo. All right, something to focus on, making sure you're doing the rolls, uh, not the tops. Uh, how would you know the difference? Uh, if you're rolling the ball all the way across your body, the foot that's rolling is the one that's landing first. So in this case with my right and here with my left. So in this variation, you're focusing on the rolling part. So here, uh, make sure you're rolling the ball all the way across. All right, uh, fifth variation is probably the hardest here. I'm doing bell, 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 bell. Catch it with sole of the foot, pull it back, touch. Catch it with the other foot, bell, 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 bell. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Uh, once you get in the rhythm, uh, you should look like this. And uh, here comes the slow-mo. Okay, here when you're doing the pullback with the opposite foot, take a step forward. I'll show you the replay. So here, open up, touch, do the bells. And then when you do the pullback, the opposite foot goes forward. So when you turn, use the sole of the foot to open up and get the ball here. So I'll show you a few more times. Alright, variation number six, V move using inside foot. So here, inside foot, do the bells, pull back, inside foot. Pretty simple. Um, once you get in the rhythm, you should look like this. So um, I'll show you the slow mo. Alright, so here, when you're doing the pullback, you, you see the opposite foot, it's taking a step out. So here with my left, and look at my right foot taking a step out so that creating that space uh, when you turn so just focus on that and it's pretty simple uh, pretty easy to do so this is variation number six
Alright, the seventh variation is quite similar to the last one. You're doing a V move, but now you're using the outside foot. So once you get in the rhythm, uh, you should start looking like this. And then uh, here's the slow-mo. Alright, uh, so things to focus on. First one, same thing as the last one. You see how my opposite foot is taking a step out to create that space. And then the other part, uh, you see how when I'm pulling the ball back, my foot stays in the air the whole time. So with my right here and here with my left. So two things to focus on mainly. So this is uh, variation number seven, V move with the outside foot. All right, variation number eight is quite similar to the third one. So you're doing the bell bell and you're putting it in front of you uh, diagonally. But this time, now you're pulling it diagonally back. Uh, this is what you should look like when you're in the rhythm. And here comes the slow-mo. All right, comparing to variation number three, you see how I'm pulling the ball diagonally back now. So everything else is pretty much the same, the setup, the bells, but that's the only difference. Uh, pretty simple. This is variation number eight. Okay, uh, variation number nine is bell, bell, step over. So pretty simple. You do bells, step over, bells, step over, bells, step over. This is what you should look like when you're in the rhythm. And here comes a slow-mo. All right, uh, one thing to focus on, the foot you're using to step over. You see how I'm making almost like a 180 turn? By doing this, you can catch it with the opposite foot. So uh, other than that, pretty simple. Variation number nine, step overs. Okay, the last variation is kind of like a helicopter move. So you do bells and use both feet to make that like 180 turn. Uh, this is what you should look like when you know a fast rhythm. And here's a slow-mo. Okay, uh, one thing to focus on, make sure you're using both soles of your feet while turning. Uh, by doing this, it makes it easier to make that 180 turn. And also the quick transition into bells again. So uh, other than that, quite simple. Last variation, number 10. We're back. So those were the 10 different variations. So I usually do about 50 uh, reps for each uh, drill and it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes. So uh, very easy. As I said, the only thing you need is a ball uh, and then like a little space. So very easy, very convenient. I really think these drills helped me a lot when I was young. Uh, you know, touches don't really go away that quickly. So, you know, once you start getting those touches clean, uh, it's gonna really help you once you go into a higher level. I still do this during my warmups, uh, you know, before games, before trainings, before getting into more intense environments. I thought it would be nice to share them with you guys today. I'll keep posting my training and workout videos uh, in this channel and also things I do off the field. So if you haven't, please hit subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback, please comment below. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>